Hello everybody, welcome to Ontario Hiking Trails and um, we're going to do a, a backpack review on um, my gear. Um, I'm here in my house in my pajamas like most other non-essential workers in Ontario. Um, <laughs> uh, what else can you do, right? Um, so yeah, this is my backpack and gear. Um, I've swapped out my, my camera for, um, I'm using the old EM5, Olympus OMD EM5 to record this and um, this is my new Olympus GH5 and um, one of the only reasons why I bought the Olympus or the um, Lumix um, GH5 is because I had lenses from uh, the old Olympus camera system and this is a 12 to 60 um, Olympus lens and it's for the old four thirds system uh, the old not the micro four thirds but the old uh, digital SLR uh, four thirds Olympus system and with this adapter I can attach all my old lenses to the new Lumix GH5 and the image quality I get from this lens is incredible. It's amazing. Um, some people like the Micro Four Thirds system, some people don't. Um, the image quality is okay. Um, for video, it's great. I love it for video. Um, I'm kind of missing my Nikon D800. It's been in the shop and I don't know if I'm ever going to get it back. Um, I could call Henry's and see what's going on, but I don't even know if Henry's is open. So anyways, um, this is my Olympus, Olympus, this is my Lumix GH5. Um, the one I'm recording with is an OMD EM5 Mark II. So that's the camera. That's what I'm using for the video and photography. And um, next we'll have a take a look at this backpack. Um, this is a hundred dollar backpack, okay? It's made by Teton, uh, Fox 5200. I used it twice last year. Um, I used it twice and uh, it worked perfectly fine. Um, so this is, this is my backpack. It's a Teton Sports Fox 5200. It's not an Osprey. It's a hundred dollar backpack. Okay. It's not an Osprey. Um, an Osprey would probably cost you three to four hundred bucks for the same thing. And I'm sure if I put it on my back, I would probably never take it off. <laughs> but I can't afford an Osprey right now. And a lot of other people can't afford Ospreys. So this is a hundred dollar backpack. It's, I've got all this gear in it. Um, I can fit pajamas, um, pajamas, <laughs> all this gear plus my clothing and some food. Um, enough for at least two or three days. So that's my backpack. Um, I'll put a link to all this stuff. Um, most of it's from Amazon. You can get it on Amazon. Uh, so I'll put links to it all. Um, this is just an outbound chair from Canadian Tire. Um, it's a nice little thing to sit on. Um, my tent, which um, is a, it's a two-man upland tent. Um, Mountain Smith. I got this tent at, um, I believe I got it. I believe I got this one at um, sale. But um, it's a nice tent, it's a nice 2% tent, and uh, it, it slides nicely right down the back. Now I've taken it out of the bag, I'll never get it in. Uh, this is um, my sleeping bag, it's a uh, minus 7 mummy, mummy bag by Woods, and um, it fits nicely. The bottom compartment in this bag. So. That's where the sleeping bag fits nicely. 
Um, this is a cool little thing. This is um, this is a Lixada stove, wood stove, and um, it's pretty cool. It, it, it'll boil water in about seven minutes, but uh, how it works, you just, um, there's a pan. Set it up like this. Um, this goes in inside in here, and then you could put a, something on top of it to boil water, and you feed sticks in here, and uh, it works. It's it's uh, if you, if you don't want to uh, if you want to go ultralight and not take any gas or any um, any stove other than just a wood stove, this will boil water. It takes a little longer, but uh, so there's that. And I've used it. I've been backpacking twice. I've only been I'm only just a new backpacker, so I've only used it twice. But it does work great. Um, coffee pot. This is a percolator. Um, I found uh, it's a little bit big, but if I'm just going for one or two nights. And uh, I don't. I'm not going far. Then percolators make the best coffee. They really do. And on top of this wood stove, it works. So, and um, I can't remember. This is a pillow by Teton, and I can't remember if it came with the backpack, but uh, it rolls up nice and tight. My pillow, pillow, sleeping bag, the tent slides down the back. Um, this is my, uh, I ordered a jet boil, but it's not here yet. And uh, jet boils are um, basically thrown out of the way. But uh, jet boils, they will, it's your pot, your pot and a, and a stove all in one. But uh, I've used this twice on top of the wood stove and it does work. Um, and then it, it comes with a little, uh, a little dish to put your, your oatmeal in or, or whatever you're eating. And um, I think that's, I think that came from Canadian Tire. Uh, came with a little spoon. And uh, that goes in there. That goes in there. Um, bug net. This is just from the dollar store. I mean, why would you buy, why would you spend money on a bug net? I mean, uh, for a buck. <laughs> um, saw. This works really good. It does lock, but it doesn't start locking until you start sawing something, so. Um, this Sawyer filter, okay? Fill your bag up with water. Screw on the filter. And squeeze your water into a drinking bottle. And um, I've used this filter two or three times. And I've seen other people use them on, uh, on uh, YouTube. They, um, seems to be a very popular filter, the Sawyer filter. And again, you can get that on YouTube. YouTube. You can get that on Amazon.
So there's a separate compartment for the tent as well. And uh, there's a pouch on the at the back of this. And the tent will just slide nicely right down the back. And um, put these in. This is um, it's just another spoon, fork. Nice little fork. And uh, this is coffee. This is instant coffee. Um, it actually tastes not too bad. Yeah. Starbucks house blend instant coffee. You just boil water and throw it in, and uh, it works really good. So. Essentials. Um, there's plenty of room for food and clothes, and then uh, it's just straps on the top. This is this is just a mat. It's just a, it's a cheap, cheap insulator mat to go underneath my sleeping bag. Um, it works for warm weather, but uh, I've learned that. I need something better if I'm going to go out in um, freezing cold temperatures to insulate my sleeping bag from the ground. But this works for, for summertime. And there we go. Um, that's my backpack. I kind uh, of got this done up right, but um, as you can see, that, that's all my necessities, uh, minus drinking water and um, food and clothes, and it's probably, it's not very heavy, it's, that's only about 30 pounds maybe, but, um, okay everybody, so that's it for this week, um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Stay safe, stay safe everybody, and um, we'll see you next week.